The mayor of Denham Springs remembers 2016 in a different way. Instead of calling it a catastrophe or a complete loss, Gerard Landry calls it the light at the end of the tunnel. We set out a, a, a plan uh, to collect the information from our citizens. Is there something that you'd like us to fine tune? Is there some other, you know, just give us some more information. Rather than focusing on the damage, Landry and the rest of the city have taken it as an opportunity to rebuild and rebrand, starting with what residents like Tyler Herman would like to see. We don't have sidewalks in Denham Springs and I like I like to go run around the city um, like going for runs around the city I should say uh, <laughs> and it's hard to find a closed loop that has sidewalks the whole way. Fortunately for Herman the city received a $50,000 grant and thousands of dollars in settlement money and now it'll all be used to build bike lanes, sidewalks and electric car chargers. But as technology changes it's inevitable that the electric cars are going to be more prevalent. As technology increases the battery life, increases the range, they're going to be out there and we may as well be a part of it. So far, the ideas for these changes have gotten a lot of feedback in the city. Herman says they're a step toward progress, especially after the flood. The rebuilding has really allowed a lot of people to kind of shift focus and become more progressive. Um, just because, you know, once you've torn, torn everything down, you may as well make it better than it was before. And I think there's a really big sense of, of pushing for that in Denham Springs. The mayor says that the locations and plans for the car chargers and sidewalks still need to be approved by residents, but he says the city is one step closer to construction. Kara St. Cyr, Fox 44 News.